and uh, and we're also going to see this huge helium balloon in front of us and you can see these uh, Tibetan uh, uh, pipes that are being blown at the moment you've got the conch shells which are used in Hindu traditional festivals and prayers well now the crowd you finally coming alive and they're in for a real show here sit back and enjoy swaying of the bean players, the bean which is uh, a wind instrument strongly associated with snake charmers and there we have a magnificent view of what some would say is the star of the show Tinko's already mentioned it, this giant helium balloon, an aerostat as it's called Being charmed up. It's the biggest helium balloon in the world it's rising gradually to a height of about 25 meters and it acts as a kind of giant projector screen. It really does play a very important part in the ceremony. It's absolutely spectacular, a very clever concept. It, uh, it cost a lot of money as well, Jim. Thousands of dollars worth of helium balloon. Thousands of dollars worth of helium balloon there. rising of Rajasthani puppets. This is the uh, northern state of Rajasthan, it's a desert state, and these are synonymous from that state. The Nehru Stadium here in Delhi ablaze with light. There'll be some spectacular displays of fireworks during the evening. Fireworks and the drums. A little reminder, maybe, of what we saw in Beijing in 2008. Though far fewer drummers here, several hundred of them, but in Beijing, of course, there were thousands of drummers to beat that initial countdown. Here in Delhi, we have drummers of all kinds from all regions of the country. Yes, Hugh, we do. We have uh, drums from the northeast, from Nagaland. We have drums from Rajasthan. We do. It's uh, It just sort of goes. It's an example of the diversity of this country, uh, the different cultures, the food, the languages that India represents, and the traditions as well. There might not be as many of them here, but they're making enough noise, that's for sure. <laughs> it really is resonating through the stadium, isn't it? Well, they're very big as well.
mention to you here that uh, these drummers who are coming out are all from indigenous peoples in this country. So they've been brought in from, uh, these are tribal peoples of, of India. The organizers telling us that there will be some 9,000 people taking part in this opening ceremony. There you see some emerging from under the central stage. They built a special tunnel under the stage to the outer rim of the arena here. That's where hundreds and thousands of these performers will emerge. Well, when you're designing new stadia now, Hugh, you have to always think, is this place going to be used for a big opening ceremony, a major game, of course, save for 2012? And when you said this uh, underwent its reconstruction pretty much from when it was built in 1982, they had to think about this evening and of course the closing ceremony. as the mass of drummers sways and performs. Just look there centre stage, because we're going to get a glimpse of one of the stars of the show, a little seven-year-old boy called Keshav. And he will perform his own solo on the drums in tandem with all the others. Child prodigy as well. Apparently he was playing it, playing the tabla from the age of two. There he is, tiny little figure, his two little drums. You can barely see him. There he is. Not overwhelmed by the situation at all. He might be seven, but he knows how to perform, doesn't he? We saw the cameras were on him, he lit up. As little Keshav leads the drum beat, you get a real sense, Tenku, of the extraordinary diversity, the richness of culture that makes up India a strong national identity. Yes. Definitely. That identity of being Indian is strong and uncompromising and clear, but it encompasses an extraordinary range. Yes, Hugh, and you can see it if you just look at the uh, the faces of the people down there on the stage and uh, who are playing the drums, the features, the drums that they're playing, the, the costumes that they're wearing and everything. India is, is just is so diverse and rich um, and it's all reflected here. a real sense of the purpose of the balloon all the images being projected matching and complementing the display
a terrific start here at the Nehru Stadium in Delhi, the opening ceremony of the Commonwealth Games.